Hi, it's Jenny, and today's real funny friend is Jeff Dye going to be at Comedy Works South in Landmark, uh, not only tonight, but tomorrow night. Got two shows. Yeah. Uh, and it's funny because as I'm reading your bio and stuff, the only thing I can think of is that you also are a big Bigfoot Yeah, I'm fanatic. a big Bigfoot guy. I love conspiracies. I love it. I'm, oh, it's I'm, not a conspiracy. Did you, she called it a conspiracy. Well, because then people will send him be like, you know, Bigfoot's not real. Dude, did you see? He was in Colorado like a year ago. Yeah, I saw him in the train and saw, video. And yeah, they saw so the train video. See? Well, here's what I don't understand about people's opinion about Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. Like... And I do mean this with a level, with a tone. I am, I, I do, I do have an have attitude about this. People will say like, "Oh God, that's 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 not real Bigfoot," right? And I'm going, "That's okay if you've done any homework at all. <laughs> you live in Burbank, California. <laughs> like, why would you know about it? Bigfoot so to you is somebody who hasn't been waxed. Well, yeah. they're subject. They think of it as this subject that's whimsical, like mm. Loch Ness monster or something. But if you just, how about you do a little homework? Just mm -hmm. look into it a little, and they'd be like, oh, that could be just a monkey that lives in the woods. There could be thousands of bipedal hominids. If you go to the Natural <laughs> History Museum, they recognize an animal that walked upright that was an ape called Gigantopithecus, and they find bones of him, all that, or him yep. and her, it's a species, all the time. It's not that unlikely that our woods could have a creature that we have yet to discover. Well, and why is it such a big deal? Like, why are people so upset if we believe in it? I don't know. Like, like you know, we saw this video. We're, like, all excited about it. It's something that's exciting. And by the way, that was probably the best story of all the ones on the news yeah. that day because everything else was depressing and right. just gross. So like, if we like it, why not? It's like the UFOs. Like, do you believe in aliens too? I do. Because I feel like we're kind of selfish subject, to think. Though. But I feel I mean, like we're very selfish to think that we're the only things that are on this planet or the only things that are in the woods. So I agree with that too. There's a scientist who's a real knob named uh, Neil deGrasse Dorco or whatever his mm -hmm. name is. I don't like him at all. But uh, he had a great quote once where he was like, Saying there's no other, you know, there's no other species, there's mm -hmm. no other life on the in the universe would be like taking a thimble of ocean water and going, look, there's no whales in here. <laughs> and I was like, that's such a great way to that describe is. that. Yeah, of course. And that's, usually, that's nicer than he usually is, too. Yeah. He is. He sucks. I don't want to start a fight with him, though. because Oh, I don't mind. I think Neil deGrasse, <laughs> Neil, Neil De De DeGrasse Tyson is a fraud. He's a fraud and a fake scientist who's been he's been bought and paid for, I think and we'll just tell you I think whatever you're my favorite guest. they tell you. I think, uh, guys, hands down, hands down, bet, favorite All guest. All right, thanks, just Jenny. Call us, yep, call us and yeah. it. Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> Did not mean to take you down that route. No, it's alright. Uh, Bigfoot is uh, very, here's the thing. Bigfoot is likely. Likely. I yep. think that's a fair thing. I think so, too. You know, I like it. speak with a matter of fact. That's not real. You go, what do you mean? Because it's not a zoo? Yeah. We've got hair. We've got footprints. We've got sightings. We've got sounds. And it, now, I think now, especially with everything being on your phone and being yeah. able to capture it so quick. Well, people go, why didn't you get a, a video out if you saw it? You go, oh, I was afraid for my life. And I was witnessing a creature I didn't even know was real. <laughs> I didn't have time to whip out my smartphone. I thought, you know what? Can you just wait there and pause? This is perfect lighting. Like, yeah. yeah. Next time dead. someone is a bear, they go, if we saw a bear and we were like terrified, I go, why didn't you get a video of it? <laughs> well, I was afraid for my life. Bear was going to maul my kids. Yeah. Yeah, and we don't know Bigfoot. No one's ever talked to him. I don't know. We don't know. Yeah, he could be hostile. Oh, he, he he's could be super hostile. nice. He's but very territorial. He's territorial. Like, <laughs> they gotta be. They're creatures, you know. Absolutely love it. Uh, so you're actually in LA. You're. Are you filming another movie now? Uh, I just, I yeah, we we have a movie coming out called uh, Stealing Jokes, which mm -hmm. I'll be the I'm the lead of that movie. It's a awesome. kind of a fun comedy heist movie. Okay. Um, I always tell everyone I'm a terrible actor, but. Uh, <laughs> It was, it was great and really fun to make. Yeah, yeah. I learned a lot. Being the lead is is hard. Yeah. And the, and people think it's just you go in, you recite your line, you leave. Like that's, no, it's... that's like hours and days of just sitting there waiting for your lines that you have to do. And, and, then... I, and I'm the worst, too, because I'm newly sober, eleven almost 11 months. And uh, thank you. But when I was shooting that movie, I was, you know, drinking all the time. And I'd be like, do I have lines tomorrow? And he's like, <laughs> yeah, dude, you're the lead of the movie. Yeah, what are you talking about? Do you have lines tomorrow? He's like, yeah, get to your hotel, work on your scripts. Like, oh. You're like, okay, I'll no, go sit at the bar and work on my scripts. Yeah. I feel like I did only... that in college. <laughs> yeah, so I, 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 I was probably, like, huh. I'm used to only being in movies where I'm somebody's husband or boyfriend. You know, I'm not used to being the lead guy. So, But it was very fun. I'm very excited for it. You're like, I'm out. the eye candy? Oh, no, wait, I'm the actual lead. Yeah, okay, there we weird. go. There we go. I'm yeah. the neighbor that's like, did someone say pizza? Like, that's like my line. 
That used to you be delivered a... that line very well, though. Thank I feel you. like that's that's. I can't wait to see the movie uh, now. That's one I practiced. <laughs> that's one I practiced over and over. All right. Well, we got to see him, Jeff Dye. He's going to be at Comedy Works out at Landmark uh, all weekend long, and it's a long weekend. Perfect time to get out and go see some comedy. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, if you're not on the side of a rock cliff. You know, yeah. Isn't that what people do here? Yeah, not all people. Because the weather's beautiful and it's Labor Day weekend. I imagine most of my Denver fans will be like, I'm on the top of a Dude, mountain I'm going, somewhere. I'm going, I'm going hiking. I would have came, but I was too busy on a rock I hate cliff. That. I My friend was like trying to, because I'm newly single after like a couple, like. 20 years so she's like oh look at this guy like he's so cute i'm like why do they always have a picture of them like in the mountains like yeah ew they think you like that or the bathroom selfie that's like look at my chest no bro they do that yes it's all oh, the time wow yeah the mountain one makes more sense than the bathroom selfie yeah kind but of. what's uh what what's the ideal image like for... i like being outside i like do not know what about a guy with a dog in his photo would that be better Okay, yeah, that's my kryptonite. That's better, yeah. That's my kryptonite, for sure. Just, we're, we're just trying to learn what we could do for I was going to say, we're helping what, you guys yeah. assist. This They're is the They're over there truth. deleting their photo of them. <laughs> I was going to say, you did just delete. Selfies. You're deleting something, Sean Gates. I see you over there. <laughs> yeah, his bathroom goes, selfie. Oh. He's like, I thought it looked uh, good. Here. <laughs> you do have a uh, mountain nice. photo. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. Well, I do, I, I, here's the thing. Here's how silly I am. I would have think a girl would like that. Like, uh, oh, look, he's outdoors. Yeah, but not all girls are outdoorsy. I know. I prefer not an outdoorsy girl. Me and Mother girl, Nature, I call it But I'm just saying, nature. like, I would think that that's what they would think is cool. You need a girl. Have, you need a girlfriend that can help you and like revamp your profile. Well, I got I don't you, have Sean. You and I are going to talk next week. You're I don't have any like dating profiles. Oh, yeah. right? Neither do I. So that's why I can tell you what's bad. <laughs> I was telling the guy last night, one of the um, guys who worked at Comedy Works, I was telling him, was like, I think I, I what a problem I struggle with is. I only know things that guys would think are cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I'll pick up a girl like Oakleys. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "What?" Are, I was like, "These rules." Wings and beer, babe. Wings and beer. Yeah, I'm burning out. <laughs> Although in her, some of us like wings and beer. Like, don't get I'm me wrong. I'm burning out in her driveway. <laughs> Burr, like just kicking up gravel, and she's like, "This guy sucks." And all the guys in the neighborhood are like, "That guy was pretty cool, babe." I, this, I, I do this thing where this is why I'm single, and this is 100 percent why some of us are single. Oh, yeah. This is what we do. Well, I will be your wing woman. Yeah. How's that? Okay. I'll tell you I'll what. If you. I was interested in dudes, I'd have a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> same, same. Yeah. All right, Cozy 101.1. It's Jenny's Real Funny Friends.